had no plans on vlogging today but I'm in such a good mood and although I'm, I'm very hungry <laughs> we're just about to go get some lunch but um hango aside I'm in a really good mood today and I was going to vlog tomorrow and for the rest of the weekend and I thought I would just start today <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're having one of those fake springs. There's usually always a couple of days, a week or so in February where we will get a bit excited because it's starting to feel like spring. It's like it's about 13, 14 today and then the weather <laughs> takes a dive and it's full on winter again. I feel like we're having that, the fake, the fake spring. My stead feeling so much better for some Oh, if you're wondering where Delilah is, it's half term. Um, it's, well, it's the last couple of days of half term and um, she's gone to my mum's. As a lot of you know, my mum likes to have her for a bit um, during the half terms and holidays and Delilah loves to spend time with her. So she's there for a couple of days. I got back early from work today, um, hence why we went for lunch in the middle of the day on a Thursday. Grabbed some fruit and veg on the way home. Came home to New Daily Dosa from Skin and Me, who are actually the sponsors of today's vlog. But this is my subscription that I pay for myself every month. Some yarn, some more yarn. I <laughs> really don't need any more. We've also got our small subscription laundry capsules. Every now and again, I'll get a message asking if I still have my code. It gets you, I think it's 25% off your first subscription. It's still still valid, still working, still the same one that I shared um, a while back. I'm running out of battery. I've got all my batteries in here where I decided I was going to vlog as we went out the door. So I just I grabbed all the batteries I own and flung them in my bag <laughs> in the hopes that at least one of them would have some juice. And did I charge any of these batteries? No. No, I didn't. So I've got lots of clips and not much talking. So I'm trying a little, trying something a little different. I'm do, do a voiceover. Let's see how we feel about it. It feels, it feels very alien to me. Life lately has been an odd one. A lot of you know I struggle most weeks, months, all throughout the year. But winter tends to be a particularly tricky one for me. I've been feeling very stuck lately, and quite honestly mentally exhausted from constantly being in and out of burnout every week month all throughout the year a almost lifetime of struggling with my mental health and being diagnosed with anxiety and depression and possible multiple diagnoses of other mental disorders a few years ago we finally realized that i'm neurodivergent and my whole life made so much more sense. It's definitely given me more understanding on how my brain works. Everything makes so much more sense. And although it's meant I've been able to give myself more grace and understand why I can't function at the same capacity as everyone else, it's frustrating because you feel like you can, you feel like you should be able to control it. Like there is an element of feeling like it's your fault, even though you know it's not getting back into the swing of things really. I found a lot of comfort in baking and knitting when I've had the energy to. I felt grateful that I even wanted to do those things because a lot of the time um, I will just feel so low that I'm just not interested in anything. Although I do find it hilarious that I've barely been able to keep it together yet I decided to make a sourdough starter, feed that every day and try and keep that alive. Fed it earlier and then I'm gonna pop it back in the fridge this evening and I think it'll be ready to make summer some bread soon. It's been a fun process and I find things like baking and knitting have really given me some peace and quiet from the noise in my head. It feels good to do stuff with my hands that isn't scrolling on my phone and trying to distract myself. At least they feel kind of somewhat productive. Still going with this jumper, although I've done, I've finished the neckline. I've got half a sleeve done. I'm just finishing off the body and um, and then we will be done. I had a bit of a wobble the weekend before filming this. I'm just mentally, I am mentally exhausted. You start to feel really defeated because you pick yourself up, you try and pick up the mess around you, get back on track and then I'm burnt out again. 
or I'm back at square one and after a while you do think what's the point and I think as the years go by the harder and harder I find it to pick myself up I've got to the point where I feel like what's the point because it's just going to happen again and it almost takes more and more energy to get myself out of that funk the more the years go by. I don't really know where I'm going with this but that's just how I've been feeling lately. I am so grateful for everything I have which I think makes this all harder, you beat yourself up more about it. I don't want this to sound like I'm moaning or come across like a pity party. To just know that if any of you are feeling the same or have felt the same, we've got this. We're in this together and we've got this. Even listening to myself right now, I can I, I sound more drained and monotone even if I don't feel like it and I can tell that I'm very low in the rest of this vlog. I know I'm just a bit slower and lacklustre in this video as I come out of this funk that I've been in. So thank you to those who take me in this mood and also in my happy moods and my not so great moods. Um, I really appreciate all of you. Good morning. Excuse, excuse my hair. I'm going to wash it in a bit. I had the worst night's sleep. I'm feeling so tired. But here's where I talk about today's sponsor for the vlog, Skin and Me. I know lots of you are probably thinking, but Rihanna, we've heard about the Daily Dose a million times from you. We know they have a new product that I've been using for the last couple of months. I've actually been really excited to show you. I got myself one of these headpans that everyone seems to have. I found it on Anthropology. It's denim, it's really sweet. It's been really handy and I'm doing my skincare. I may be able to link it if they still have it. I know I'm not looking amazing right now. We're all friends here, even though I feel very self-conscious with all my hair scraped off my face. I've been in skincare for years now has looked like cleanser the daily doser personalized towards my skin goals i use it once a day just in the evening and moisturizer so these these three products and then in the morning so i'm just going to cleanse my face now cleanser makes my skin feel so good it's not stripping at all i could be here for five minutes just rubbing this into my face it just feels so good probably noticed all the swatches around the walls up here and samples. I've ordered some wallpaper for in here. Very excited. This is when I would use their SPF but their new product. I have two here because I wanted to show you the sample size so if you order yourself a sample this is the size you'll get. This is their Brighten and Boost Serum. They have three different types of these and they'll recommend what they think is good for your skin depending on your skin goals and um, your skin type. Mine's the Brightening Azelaic, is that how you say it? Azelaic Acid Serum. Mine's to help clear breakouts um, so it very much works directly alongside my daily doser. I get so much anxiety about products breaking me out and having reactions, my skin's not very sensitive. I never have any problems with my Skin and Me products. Pop my SPF on and this SPF, I've used this since they released it. A good couple years now I think. It makes my skin look good, it makes my skin feel good, it's got lots of lovely ingredients in it um, and obviously it does a job from protecting my skin. Makeup sits well over the top of it, it's just the best. As always link and code will be in the description. My code will get you your first daily doser for 4 99 and then you can also add your free sample of one of their Brighten and Boost serums. If you're already a customer and you already use Skin and Me and you use that daily doser, you can still um, go onto your account and just add the serum to your basket and you can give it a go. I saw some eye masks in the fridge. They looked too good not to use. I was pretty in the morning I realised I have such dark circles, it looks like I have eyeliner underneath like, along my eyelashes. <laughs> I've just realised my favourite spoon is not clean. I have to use one of Delilah's. The house feels very quiet. It feels really strange waking up by myself. Usual porridge today. Oats with some chia seeds. Somewhere under here we've got Biscoff, of course. Got some Greek yoghurt, raspberries and I'm just on topic with oh 
top it with, we go through this drizzly peanut butter, like it's no tomorrow, Delilah loves this stuff. So good for drizzling on porridge. <laughs> I'm making a mess and I can't get any out. That's my go-to porridge at the moment. This evening we're off to the theatre, thinking, I'm trying to decide what to wear. I don't want to overheat on the train and in the theatre, but I also don't want to be too cold. I'm trying to decide whether, wear what I wore yesterday. I could just wear my Reformation Cardi. I was thinking maybe this, but I don't know. It might get a bit itchy and warm. But yeah, anyway, so we're off to the theatre. I couldn't tell you what it's called that we're going to see. Um, all I know is that it has SJP, so Sarah Jessica Parker and her husband, who is also a very famous actor, but for the life of me, cannot remember his name. Ferris Bueller, Inspector Gadget. Why can't I think of his name? I love them both. And when we saw that they were doing this play last year, we decided to book tickets. I mean, I can't believe I'm actually going to be in the same building as Sarah Jessica Parker. Um, that's pretty crazy. Beforehand, we are going to try and get a table at the Shoom to get some dinner before the play. And you know what? I don't think I've ever been to a play. I've been to loads of musicals, but I've never been to, I don't think I've ever been to a play. Ah, uh, my necklace is a little bit, a little bit tangled up. I only took it off last night. I'm not sure how it's managed to do that. Being completely honest with you, I got myself into a bit of a tiz, started overthinking, worrying last night, this morning, which has turned into me feeling very anxious and in return my body has now kind of, my, I, I feel very spacey, feeling anxious about feeling anxious and just feeling very overwhelmed and probably not being helped. By the fact I had a bad night's sleep last night. And I just wish I wasn't like this. Like, why am I like this? Does my brain make it so hard to function? I wish I was able to process my thoughts properly and just one, one at a time <laughs> and not feel so overwhelmed. I feel like I could actually be able to execute all the things that I've got going on in my mind. And I, now I'm probably not making much sense. I feel tired and done and I haven't done anything today. I just mentally feel completely, my brain feels scrambled. I feel fried. I think it would do me good to get out, have a nice little walk to the train station, have a lovely dinner, um, have a nice time at the theatre. London Charing Cross. Charing Cross. Woo! <laughs> Almost got run over. I feel like the Ikea monkey in this coat.
decided I'm going to make some cookies. They're from the the Modern Spice Rack cookbook. So it, was ra it was raining a second ago and now it's really sunny. I made these a few months ago. They were so good. Mainly because we have so much butter that's technically past its best before date, but it's still fine. But I want to I want to use it up. So I thought I'd make some cookies. Doug saw me open this to this page and he said, oh, you're making those. Um, Cause he really enjoyed them last time. They're the white chocolate espresso and cardamom cookies. I'll leave a link to the book if you want to check it out. It's one of my favorite cookbooks. He gave Tom one of the biscuits and Tom said, oh, this is, this is a really nice ginger biscuit. And Doug said, it's not ginger, it's cardamom. Tom said he doesn't even like cardamom. That's how good they are. I think they're really nice. Like the cardamom gives it a really different flavor. It's a similar vibe to a ginger biscuit, just a little bit different. Also, cardamom is one of those spices that I feel does I don't use it enough. This is a really good recipe to kind of get through our cardamom pods, which Okay, let me show you. Let me show you. I'm very pleased with our new drawers. For a really long time, I've been wanting to get some small. So we have this kitchen was here when we bought the house, and it's it's an IKEA kitchen, and we have a cutlery drawer inside one of our bigger drawers. And I had a thought last year that it would be really handy to buy more of those drawers for the cupboard here, and for this cupboard and then we could have things like spices over here and then all all my teas in that one above the snack cupboard ordered them from ikea last week and installed them i i love a bit of flat pack furniture but it was a bit of a faff trying to figure out how to like to screw them into the drawers and trying to figure out how they secured into into and above the other drawer. I was not in the mood, so Doug came to the rescue, helped me with this one. And um, the other one I did myself the following day and it was fine. I don't know what this is talking about. Mm. If you want it at the bottom, go to page 12 if you want it. Yay. We have a whole spice drawer. Probably better to store them in here where the sunlight can't get to them. But also it makes so much more sense for them to be here rather than over there on that shelf because then I'm not running back and forth. I've got all my lovely dishroom spices here. I know there are some cardamom pods. I've got these gorgeous black cardamom pods. I don't know if there'll be a bit much for actually. Let's use up the other ones that I have here first. And then ingredients, unsalted butter, eggs, vanilla bean paste, baking powder, baking soda, some sea salt, golden caster sugar, some light brown sugar, some plain white flour, some rye flour. I wouldn't say this is the simplest of cookie recipes, but it is, it's definitely worth it. I've got some white chocolate. I'm not usually a white chocolate fan, but in these cookies, it just works. And then we have some espresso, just ground espresso, just decaf espresso. First things first, we need to bash open the cardamom pods. How many do we need? 10. I made these I finished mixing it with a wooden spoon not the whisk recipe calls for 150 grams of white chocolate we only have 100 but I'm pretty sure I only used a bar last time and they were perfectly fine it was more than enough chocolate We've got some of Delilah's baby things out the attic because we're going to give Melissa and Ben her cot bed and her pram it was a little bit dusty so we've given it a clean we're all gonna be hands on deck and um, 
sort of moving things from one house to another. I'm gonna mix all that in. Oh, that smells so good. Actually, I'm gonna take my ring off before I get mucky. Hands are clean. My hair is driving me nuts at the moment. It's just a lot of it. Um, also, I need recommendations for good hair clips because this is just, it does just about keep my hair up. Hey, Bubba. Hi. Little ones back home. I've got my scales and I'm trying to be, I'm trying to do precise 50 gram balls. Good, good job, Bob. So you get more wood to speak? Yep. 50, 50, perfect. Perfect. This one has loads of white chocolate. Yeah. It's so easy to roll. This one was a little bit trickier because it had that one. I've just realised um, once we leave, probably, probably won't have a chance to vlog until later on this evening. Don't really have time to be showing you these. Um, uh, I am so close to finishing these two jumpers that I started last year. I had to redo the bottom of the body. So I, <laughs> I started doing the ribbon and you can see that I had to frog it because it's got a little bit the tension's gone funny here started doing the ribbon and for some reason i did it in a two by two rib knit oh i think that my hair's falling out i did it in a two by two and it's meant to be one by one and i don't know why i could have left it but i wanted it to match the neck which i think is looking pretty good my first time doing a mattress stitch doesn't look the best but I'm sure my hair will cover that most of the time. So I had to frog all the rib that I had done. Started doing the right sleeve, went to add in the colour work, and for some reason, I've, I've Googled this, there's a few pages on Reddit where other people are also struggling with the decreases on the arms, like the, the graph and the numbers are just not matching up and I can't figure it out. If any of you have made this and you know what I'm talking about and you can give me some words of wisdom, please, <laughs> throw them at me yeah well we're getting there i'm so chuffed with this i think this will be done soon just in time for spring but i'll look forward to wearing this um next winter do you guys remember this jumper the compliment sweater that i started making last year and i've picked it up again i have finished one of the sleeves I think it looks so good and I cannot wait to, I cannot wait to wear this actually. I think it looks nice with a light wash jean. I just need to finish the other sleeve and I actually want to make this in two other colourways. <laughs> I have been doing some gay swatches for a few other projects. <laughs> Doug came home the other day and he was like, what are you making now? Whilst I have two of my unfinished jumpers sat in front of me. He knows it's all part of the process and he jokes about it with me because I get there in the end. Nine times out of ten things do get finished. Um, I just kind of divert through the process. Very pleased with this. Anyway, <laughs> my hair is falling. This is, what, this, is, this is what I mean. I need a decent hair clip. I need to have my lunch now. I'm the world's slowest eater. Well, compared to everyone I know, um, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm always last to finish, so I need to have my lunch because we'll be leaving soon to head out. I need to move the wool, all this yarn that's on this chair um, from the gauge swatches I was doing. This is for a cute little blue cardi I want to make. This is, this is the wool I'm going to use for the Petit Knit Cloud jumper you can't really see this camera's been awful at focusing this yarn i can't remember what the yarn is now um is the softest i love this and um this is for a wrap round card i can't remember the name of the cardigan again really lovely squishy yarn i'm really excited to make um these two pieces this is also knitted with a strand of i think this is cotton blows my mind because you think how is this how is this going to look good in a jumper? And I thought I had, um, I thought I'd ordered the wrong thing. But then when, when you knit them together, it just works. But yeah, anyway, I've got, yarn is taking over the place. I've got stuff here. I've got things down here, under the sofa. I've got myself some metal needles because I've actually realised I think I prefer 
knitting with these. My knitting stuff is taken over the living room, as well as Delilah's dressing up stuff. <laughs> made it back home earlier than I thought we would be. It's currently 20 to 5, so the sun is setting. So with the last little bit of daylight we have, I thought I would try on a couple of these bits I have here. Don't mind me whilst I take my jeans off. We have about four weddings to go to this year, and I need, um, I have one dress that I wore to a friend's wedding last year, and which some of you may remember. Of course, that one's an option, but it's very, um, it's very summery. Also, I have to wear heels with it. And I, my legs and feet were so swollen after a long day standing around in heels. It was also very warm. I did feel really good in the dress and I did like it, but I also want to find some other options. Also, I really lack just good summer dress options. And I saw this dress on Reformation. It's the, what dress is this? It's a citron, citron linen dress. This is in the colour Cherry. I also gravitate towards Reformation because I find that their clothes are more likely to fit me. That one's a size four. I tried it on and it fitted really well other than it was too, too baggy around my rib cage. Then I remembered that Reformation do a petite range. I had a look on their website and they had it in petite. I'm gonna try this on because this will probably fit me better because with my green one, I tried on the UK, I tried on the size four in store. It was a tiny bit long on me, but it was too baggy. It was quite a little bit baggy around my waist. And then I ordered this size four petite and it fitted me better. And I thought petite was just meant to be slightly shorter. I looked on their sizing charts and they are actually smaller, like a couple of, centi a couple of centimeters smaller around your ribs and hips which makes sense as to why the green petite dress did to me better last year so i'm hoping that this fits me hang on so this is very short i think it's too short i may have to keep you can see the bottom of my bum through the bottom this is definitely better than the other one you guys can't see shall i step back can you see i love this dress so much but it's she's short <laughs> She is really short, like too short, too short. I'm going to have to keep the non-petite version and get it taken in. I'm so happy to find a dress in this. So I've wanted to find just a, just a cute kind of A-line shift dress. I'm waiting for a pattern to be released from someone I followed on Instagram who is about to release a dress pattern in a very similar shape, slightly different neckline. I'm waiting for her to release it because the second she does, I'm going to try and make, um, I'm going to try and make it. There's also another kind of uh, Gani, is it Gani, Gani, Gani style dress that I'm waiting for someone to also release. I'm going to have a go at making that because I'm so tired of every, like every summer, especially the last handful of years, I get quite anxious in the summer because I find that there's just a lot of stuff I don't feel comfortable in or I don't have enough dress, like a good, enough dresses I can just fling on and feel comfortable in because I find wrap round style dresses and v-necks, camis, the kind of typical classic summer dresses, I find just don't suit me. I find dresses like this suit me so much more. I do think I was born in the wrong era. When I was trying to find wedding dresses, I remember thinking to myself, oh, I would, I would have, I would have been much happier trying to find a wedding dress in the... 50s, 60s and 70s. There's probably no point in me showing you the one I'm going to keep on. It's exactly the same, it's just a little bit longer so it doesn't show anything. You know, if I was just posing for a photo, I think this, I think it would be fine. But honestly, if I just stand with one leg bent, I, you can almost see, you can see my bum. One of our friend's weddings is in London. So it's like a very London wedding. I think that's in June, so it should be nice weather. I can see myself wearing this with some cute Mary Janes. But I can also see myself flinging this on to go into town, um, dress it up, dress it down. I'm so pleased with this. My mission this year, I'm just getting my t-shirt back on. My mission this year is to find or make some summer dresses that I feel happy and comfortable in. I realized all the dresses I own are red. Okay, these. I'm, I think I'm gonna have to send them back. You promise not to laugh at me. I, know, I think they are meant to be baggy, but they're so big. And I now know why they were on the sale in every single size available on the Lee website. I really wanted 
a stripy pair of dungarees. Because as we all know, that is my go-to, especially in the summer months. Oh, I've gone out of focus, hello. I like a baggy jean, a baggy dungaree. But these really do <laughs> take the biscuit. I look like a fisherman who's put on his waders, his waterproof dungaree thingies. Guys, I don't know if you can see how ridiculous these look. <laughs> I'm so sad because I really wanted to like these. These are going to have to go back. But yeah, anyway, that was my very impromptu mini try on haul. Lots of you maybe don't get it, but I'm super self-conscious. I really struggle with self-image and feeling good about myself and in the clothes that I wear. I'm just being able to find it. I feel like a lot of the kind of silhouettes and cuts of clothes that I want just aren't, just aren't really what's available. Or I find it and it just doesn't fit me. Yeah, so to find something that I genuinely love and I feel happy in, I'd rather just have, I'd rather have that one dress than four or five dresses that I'm feel not so great about. And as someone who feels really self-conscious and struggles a lot in that area, like knowing that I've got a dress that I can wear and feel really good in. It's a nice feeling. So I'm hoping to kind of get some more dresses like that in my wardrobe. I'm going to go stick some of those cookies in the oven whilst I make Delilah's dinner. So I've popped half of them on a baking sheet and then the other half I'm going to pop in the freezer. Google, set timer for 12 minutes. Got it, 12 minutes and that's starting. Now. We brought back this retro Connect Four from Doug's parents. Hey! <laughs> Whoop! Oh, I cannot tell you how good these smell. I may have put them a little too close together, but. Wait to have one of these. I'm like, oh, they're still very soft. I feel like cookies and brownies are one of those things that you need to take out before you think you need to take out. I should probably turn the lights on soon because it's getting dark. Super quick dinner for Delilah tonight. She loves these. Um, these are the Tilda Kids. We've got a vegetable paella rice. Her favourite is this one, the vegetable and whole grain rice. I usually do have some like corn chicken pieces or um, a corn sausage and I chop it up and pop it in with this with some extra and cook some extra veggies and she loves these. Good go-to quick meal. Um, she's back at school tomorrow and I need to do bath and hair wash with her. It's the BAFTAs tonight which I'm really looking forward to and I think I'm definitely going to have one of those cookies with a bit of ice cream pudding. I was... oh that's our dehumidifier, I need to empty it. I was going to ask, thinking as I was taking the cookies out of the oven, um, how, I've been doing a lot of baking recently. I tried making bagels for the first time the other, like last month, and they went really well, but I forgot about them and left them in the oven too long. So they were burnt, so after all of that, if you've ever made bagels, you know you've got to make the dough, and you've got to prove it, and then you've got to boil it, and boil them in water and bake them and it's a whole process. I left them in the oven too long. And then it made me think, I wonder what else you guys would like to see. And so maybe in the comments, let me know the kind of content you would like to see on here. I definitely plan on doing some uh, more crafty stuff. I'm getting the sewing machine out. I'm wanting to make some clothes. I've got a whole saved folder on Instagram of stuff I want to make. I really want to make some patchwork blankets. I'll 100% film the um, the process. Yeah, so I thought that would be fun. And then I just wondered kind of what other stuff you would like to see. I have also done, well, I've had TikTok on my phone for ages. I don't really use it, but I've had this urge to upload on TikTok. And so I set my account up properly the other day. And if you would like to follow me, then I will leave a link to it in the description. For some reason it wouldn't let me have Rihanna and Ashley, so I think it's Rihanna and Ashley vlogs. It will take me a while to get into the flow of kind of thinking about making the content, but I have so many ideas, and this is the thing, I have so many ideas for content, and um, I feel really inspired by short form content. I think I'd be good at it, I just need to get into the habit of doing it, and also I need to not get overwhelmed. I think I get overwhelmed 
with all my ideas that I've said this before that like nothing gets done. I, need to, I just need to do it and I just need to get into the habit as well. Otherwise, if I don't have something like forcing me to do it, I just kind of forget about it. I'll make notes on my phone and then I forget about the notes on my phone. I'll make notes on a you know a notepad forget about that and it just I just I just don't do it I have every intention but the thing I love about TikTok is that I feel like I could put stuff on there that I don't have to be too particular about because I feel like I feel like it's a little bit more relaxed on there yeah I'm hoping I find a bit of a groove with it and if I'm producing I've got I, I've got so many ideas for um Instagram reels as well I know lots of you are probably thinking yeah yeah Rihanna yeah yeah well well we'll see it when it happens yeah I'd love it if you guys gave me a follow and I need to get better at not trying to make every idea the best it could be and just do it let's stick this rice on and um, get Delilah down really and I need to wash her hair and it is honestly it's a whole washing Delilah's hair is just like washing my hair it takes ages to look to dry <laughs> these cookies are looking good the only thing is, I do, they're just ever so slightly greasy. And I remember this last time I had to wrap them in kitchen roll just to kind of get rid of the greasiness. Like, is that, is, is that to do with the butter and how you've like, worked it when you're mixing them? Um, so obviously they harden up in the fridge, but I know bacon, bacon's very technical. Yeah, is there something I can do to prevent that? Or is that just kind of just what happens hardening up nicely and um, yeah i definitely took them out at a good time i'm really enjoying having a chat <laughs> and then we get an all chatty to right towards the end of the vlog to be honest like I, I, I think i've probably said this already but although i haven't uploaded much the last month and i know well the last two months and i know that this vlog and the last vlog was sponsored and I know that most of you do not care it just comes on like comes hand in hand I think with content nowadays I mean I could stand here all I want and and justify it you know I can say well it's two minutes of a I don't know 20 30 40 minute long vlog um it's really di it's really difficult because I don't upload much this time of year and it, usually I have postponed and cancelled other sponsored content because I just haven't had the capacity for it. I've only had the capacity to do uh, one vlog last month than the one this month and I have the sponsors there to do and it made sense to put them in and I really appreciate those of you who just don't care. <laughs> just tune in and are happy to watch whatever I upload and I'm the same. I honestly, I can care less how often a YouTuber's uploading. If I like them, I just watch them whenever. I don't want to be struggling so much. You know, I don't want to be like this and I want to be consistent and I want to upload all the time and I want to do all these things and, you know, do as much as everyone else seems to be able to do. And I, you know, I spent my whole life not being able to understand why I can't just do what everyone else does and function the way everyone else does. And trust me, I beat myself up enough about about these things. Anyway, didn't mean to go off on that tangent. And I, I've often cut chats like this out because I just can't be bothered with the backlash in the comments. I'm gonna give Delilah her dinner. <laughs> I'm gonna wash her hair. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll just have a little, I'll just have a little bit. I'll just have a little cookie. I've eaten a whole one already in the same place. Has been a couple of hours though, just waiting for our dinner to cook. Um, and I realised I'd done the grand reveal of the uh, of the spice drawer. I didn't show you my tea drawer. Finally moved all. So we had boxes and boxes of teas. I just realised I didn't put my. Where's my ring? Where did I put my ring? I took my ring off earlier, didn't I? Doug, you've not like, moved my ring, have you? I can't find my ring anywhere. I know I put it next to the sink, unless I've moved it and forgotten I've moved it. Finally moved all of these. These were also round here. They were all on this middle part of the trolley. Again, it makes so much more sense for them to be here already, just because they're here. I don't forget that we've got them, so I've actually been drinking. So my go-to's, my go-to is my, my chamomile and spearmint, but I also love Parker 3 mint. So they're my go-to's, and then I forget that I have all these other ones. Um, so instantly being here 
I've been having, I've been actually using all of them. These inserts are from Amazon. I've had to, so the initially I planned on having the teas up like that, but you can't, you can't close the drawer. So that's why I've had to lay them, lay them flat. Again, really satisfying. Nice to have a, nice to have a home for them next to the kettle. Got some hot chocolate here too. Fish pie for us tonight. I'd love to say it was homemade, but it's, it's not. <laughs> 2024, back to Film Awards. I am well and truly ready for bed. Clean my teeth. Skincare is done. Got my heated blanket on. I've got my aroma diffuser thingy me cheeky on over there. I've recently, every single night, I have been using the, not that you can see it, but the Nils Yard Nighttime Essential Oil Blend. I wish I could say it's been helping me sleep. It, I haven't noticed any difference, but it's a nice ritual. As always, thank you for tuning in. I know I always, I know I say, I know I say this in most vlogs, but truly, thank you. Because I know there are some of you who watch every single one of the vlogs and <laughs> just watch me pottering around. And don't forget my Skin and Me code and link will be in the description. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next vlog. Give me flowers